a married woman who complains that her husband doesn't satisfy her in bed. The question is, how do a child tell that her mother's food is not sweet if the child is not trained eating outside? Come and listen to the word of wisdom. Watch this video to the end. As a man, yourself, you go learn from this. And as mother, as a young girl, I believe this video is for everyone. The reason why women are not satisfied with one man or in today's war. Watch the video. Don't forget to share and drop your comments. A married woman who complains that her husband doesn't satisfy her in bed. The question is, how do a child tell that her mother's food is not sweet if the child is not trained eating outside? How can a child know that her mother's food is not sweet if the child is not trained going outside to eat? The problem we have today Eka, is that young ladies are violated by numerous men before they get married. And so eventually when they get married, they begin to compare what the man brings and what they get outside. They begin to compare the strength and the size of what the man gives to what they receive outside. And now they begin to cry for insatisfaction. Because a woman must be arrested before she's exposed. Because exposure destroys women. The more she's exposed to men, the more it becomes difficult for that man, for that lady to stay under a man. Fornication destroys a woman, not because of her fire, but because a woman who has been exposed found it difficult to stay under the front, under a family, under a home. She will cry for insatisfaction because she has been exposed to a different size and a, a, a different weight and speed and energy. Arrested young ladies at age 16, 17, she's already married. So when she comes into that family as a virgin, the first and the newest she, she texts becomes that of the man. So she doesn't even know what is satisfaction or what is not satisfaction. She falls saturated under whatever the man brings as a virgin she is. Conception can never be difficult in that system. One palm, she, she already produced kids. That is why those days we have three, four wives. They share this according to schedule. If it is one, 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 four market days, it will reach the four of them. And all of them are satisfied because they all came into the family as a virgin. So today the white man truncated that family system and allowed a young lady to come to age 25, 26, 27 when that young lady must have met more than 10, 18 men. When you now bring the young lady inside your house, she, instead of accepting what you give, she now begins to judge you. you, they, if you for somebody to compare you means there was a past. They now begin to compare. He doesn't last, he doesn't remind. These things are not from when somebody has truncated the way our family is built. So we call for restructuring. It's time again to arrest the hormones of young ladies. When they are still fresh, pick 18, 19, then you would understand the reason why your ancestors never have issue with conception. 15, 16, 17. So that at that point that their hormones is still coming up, they can give birth as many as you want without any IVF or praying for a child. Just one time, they are pregnant and they will never cry of insatisfaction because a child that does not, when we are growing up, we are told that Nobody says his own mother's food is not sweet because you are not trained to go outside, eating outside anyhow. So whatever your child gives becomes necessary. The moment your woman begins to complain that you are not satisfying her, it means the woman has been overexposed before she comes into your compound. A man doesn't owe you satisfaction. What a man owes you is to give you a child. There is nothing on earth that satisfies a woman. If you like, kill yourself upon her. The best way to satisfy a woman is to make her pregnant. Make her pre the best way to satisfy a, satisfy a woman is to make the woman pregnant, simple and short. Because the greatest joy of a woman is her child. Give her a child and have peace of mind to plan as a family. Don't ever take the risk of going to satisfy a woman. Even if you die, she will not be satisfied. Because our ancestors understood the principle of avoiding problem. The white man came to solve problems. So today, a man is going to watch 10 movies, read 10 books on how to satisfy a woman, and the woman is still crying of insatisfaction.